So hi everyone, as you can see by the name and by everything here in my lap today, this is on some art. I apologize if the light starts fluctuating, it's this crappy camera, I cannot wait to bring you guys some new equipment very, very, very soon. So this is on art, as I said before. Before we start this, I want to give a shout out to Rob Pierre, his uh, description or his channel is going to be in the link below. He does some awesome digital art guys, I saw his Spider-Man Tom Holland digital art he draws it it's within five minutes it's a process holy shit this thing is amazing please go check him out show him some love that's in the link in the description below he is an amazing artist okay that's rob pierre please guys just check him out he is awesome but this can help you design for your cosplays your suits it's brilliant to relax okay art is a brilliant form of relaxation and also it's a brilliant form of creativity okay so without further ado here's some art that i have did now this is throughout eight years ago but this is a bean that i have done a few years back a lot of roided up stuff he has this is just in pencil and we have a young justice robin okay so this is my young justice robin one of the first ones that i did it is on a spider-man amazing spider-man lined paper then we go to some of my early early stuff that i have to cover up because my friends are very immature and they drew, used to draw on my drawings. You, can, you, you can't half tell what they did, can you? What I'm covering up. This is a Spider-Man uh, symbiote design that I just drew in pen when I used to go, when I was in school. I got bored a lot in school and teachers used to have to take my books off me because I was drawing a lot. My friend did this, his name is Michael McConville. He did this a long time ago when we were still in school. This is like a death in the family type pencil drawing, guys. This is amazing. The Joker up here in the corner as well. But that is Jason Todd just being held in the rain. This is just done by pencil and then lately going over some areas with the pencil and then getting your rubber and rubbing down the streaks for the rain. This looks so good. Then we have my first drawing of Reaper. If you watch my very first video uh, ever on this channel, this was a film that I did for my GCSE Media A level on GCSE Media. And this was Reaper. This was the motorcycle armor and stuff right here before I changed it into the Jason Todd. And we have an early green arrow design that I did, just when he used to be on the island, he has the scruff and stuff, the beard, I was working out the pose. You don't have to get everything perfect everyone, just design what's in your head, it doesn't have to look perfect, just really start getting your designs out and refining them. Again, this is just a little unicorn, I have a sensitive side, I got a sensitive side guys. But this is a unicorn, this is Paul right here, he is like a, a gothic or I don't know, a, a unicorn, just a hardcore pony unicorn. Then we have a Batman that a few, about three years ago that I did, maybe four years ago. So this is not an early drawing, but you can see my drawing technique was getting more refined. I was using pencil, marker, and then color coding everything. I have the moon in the background there. I love this. This is one of my first Arkham style Batman drawings. We have the Green Arrow when the new 52 came out. Okay, when the new 52 comics came out, his Green Arrow got his own first like couple of issues and they look good. I love the cover and the style of those. So I just got a marker and a pencil and did all the different details like the shadowing and stuff. <clears throat> then we go to early, early John. So this was like about six years ago I might have did this. This is Krusty burping on Bartman out of The Simpsons. So Bartman has Krusty and he just burps on him. All right. Then we go to my version of the Batman. So I always used to draw the Batman with big accentuated eyes, the skinny body and the cape covering over him. I love the cape just covering over his whole body and the silhouette that it gave, the big pointy horns. And also here, the Batman. The crescent moon again in the background. I just, I always thought he looked good in the moonlight. We have Harley Quinn right here. So this was a Harley Quinn that I did. I outlined uh, around the edges with a black pen did the colouring in with some black and red pencils and also just highlighted some of the pink areas for the bubbles. Yeah, this Harley Quinn I loved out of the Batman animated series, but uh, for short, the TNBA because there is the new Batman Adventures and there is the Batman TV series. Here is an anime version of myself I did in 2012. So if you can start, you if you want to start dating your drawings and writing the dates on which you drew them, you can see the progress that you have done. This was a self-portrait just I did it myself. We go on to a Joker, a very comic style Joker with a big chin and stuff. He's saying, it's shocking when you have a bat in your belfry. And all the ha 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 ha's and stuff. Joker generally has a big chin on the pointy, but I, I don't... 
I didn't do the best on this, but you follow through with some of your drawings. Then we have a demon. And I just drew, I, I really wanted to just draw a demon for some weird reason. Don't be scared to draw whatever's in your head or whatever you think of. We have a Nightwing swinging his escrima sticks in a pose. I was working on some designs for my friend's Halloween costume. And yeah, just doing them in the poses and stuff. We have a flash, an early day flash that I have done. I was also working in some suit designs that I thought I could have did, but I eventually didn't do those. He actually has his nose covered up here, all done in pencil. So if you do all your cosplay designs and draw them out, you might change your mind by the time you draw it because something may not work. You may change the six pack piece or whatever. This is a Damien Wayne. I love this shit. Damien is one of my favorites. This was pre New 52. So this was before the New 52 came about. Then we have a Captain America out of, I think, Earth's Mightiest Heroes TV series. I did this from my own head. I was watching that series back to back and I tried to do an Iron Man here in the background. It didn't work. I did a badass up here. This was I, I just loved the scaly part how I could have pulled it out. He has an angry look on his face. Then we have a Batman that is injured. Okay, so Batman pulling something out of his gut or something. Just the suit is all. I love having the suit all tore up. I love drawing Spider Man with the suit all tore up and stuff. It's so cool. As you can see here, Batman pulling something out of his edge or his pocket. And if anyone has watched Kevin Smith or Jane Silent Bob and has read Blunt Man and Chronic, this is Blunt Man. Okay. So this is Kevin Smith when he's putting his cape or his coat over his face he is thinking about money and money bags because he is so cool i love kevin smith and i love this guy <clears throat> early day robin sketch that i did for jason todd so you can see he usually has a strap i was going to do a strap going across the chest here giving him his big broad shoulders the cover-up piece the little quiff that he has in his hair and you don't have to do everything to detail just try and figure out what what you really want to do get it down on paper quick and you can see here a younger green arrow <clears throat> so this is maybe when he was just stranded on the island and because he has the shorter beard he has the long hair over his eyes and stuff this was in the tv arrow just came out the tv series we have here a family portrait of batman okay so batman nightwing right here holding having his hand on the little robin's shoulder i don't know if it's damien it's more jason todd style okay with the hair cut this is a batman with a bat family we have a kind of montage, so a younger version of Dick Grayson when he's sad in the Teen Titans uh, comic series that I bought. Sorry about that light glare. Then we go to a Nightwing that's just over his shoulder, like looking over him. So his younger self, then his older self in the background, what he turns into. We go to the Batman, All-Star Batman and Robin, uh, Frank Miller and Jim Lee. I would always say check out Jim Lee's artwork. Jim Lee is such an inspiration from DC Comics. He used to be in Marvel when the DC guys. Jim Lee is the man. Jim Lee is the man along with Frank Miller. Okay, so if you read the All-Star Batman and Robin, they are so good. Uh, the drawings in it are immense. Hush, Jim Lee is amazing. Okay, then we have a Batman of the Future style thing. I just drew because I was bored. I wanted to see if I could get the wingspan out there. The, the faceless. I don't like having the Batman of the Future with the mouth. It's kind of weird. So I just drew it without a mouth. Then we have Bruce kind of in the Batman suit. I was doing some designs and I was figuring out what if Bruce maybe had a cape on the back. Maybe if he had the batarangs and stuff. Uh, the broader mouthpiece. Okay guys. Just Batman of the Future design. Then an, ar an early Green Arrow design. So I was sketching out what my Green Arrow would maybe look like. What it would feel like. The arm straps right here. Okay. So just draw out your cosplays. The eye mask was up here as well. I broadly and sort of just drew out what I wanted to have. This is a sequence of Batman drawings from Batman Hush. So I will say go go read Batman Hush. It is such a comic. As you can see here, Batman just uh, scissor kicking someone. He is punching someone across the face right now here. And then he is looking through his computer database in this picture. Now these were drawings that I did maybe four years ago. These were ones that I did maybe four years ago. I have refined my technique since then. I am going up the timeline. Again, this is a Jim Lee style drawing with all the lines, the the gruff on the the mouthpiece. 
all the Jim Lee's artwork is so good if you go and look at it Jim Lee is the man honestly I look up to him so much his artwork is the best he usually draws in the bathroom because he's usually staying at a hotel and he always says the best lighting you will ever find is in a hotel bathroom so yeah this is a kind of Batman stay not finished yet again hush this is Batman from Batman hush this is when Batman is cracking Superman around the jaw with the kryptonite ring Okay, uh, Poison Ivy has Superman under her control with kryptonite laced poison and Batman has to fight him and he kicks his ass with a kryptonite ring in the sewers. Again, this is from Batman House and he's like working on it. Alright, the Jim Lee, all he kind of has all these lines and textures to add a, a certain texture to a picture that I've never seen before. It's so good. And he is in the cave right now. These are just pencil drawings. Another all-star Batman and Robin, Jim Lee, Frank Miller. Okay, but this is done by Jim Lee. I love the really gruff. You can see right here, that is the kind of Jim Lee uh, technique right there. It has a lot of lines. It has a lot of texture, tone to it. It's so good. A lot of gruff. The all-star Batman and Robin is a very, very, very good story. I will be showing a good few art pieces from this. Then we have a Batman, an early Batman design that I have did, just drawing in on pencil what I think it should look like, back and front, okay, with the kind of Young Justice style lines going down here. Then we have a DC Universe online style Batman with the armour pieces, I didn't even finish this because I didn't really like how it turned out, but I still kept it anyway. So you can see the here the bats all kind of different, it's like a metal, if you ever watch the DC Universe online trailer you will see the big gruffed up Batman. We have a Bruce Wayne that I kind of didn't like, I messed up on. We have an Assassin's Creed that I designed when I was designing my Assassin's Creed and I didn't even finish that. Okay. We have a Stephen Amell that I drew out of my own head. It really doesn't look like Stephen Amell but I tried it anyway. I drew this out of my own head. I was going to send it into Fan Art Friday through Facebook for him but I didn't. Just really didn't want to. Then we have a funny drawing with Pirate, this is scurvy pirate. Okay, just draw some fun things. If you have an idea in your head, if you're getting frustrated, draw whatever's in your head. Draw what comes to mind. Draw funny pictures. Okay, this is it right here. And two seconds. So hi everyone, we're just back again. So this is a Nightwing drawing that I have. I did of Nightwing. This is all in marker. You can see the black kind of emphasizes everything. I did him with the scruffy look. Your Nightwing can look like anything you want. Now this is where we're going to start getting into the more refined work. And this is an under the Red Hood inspirational design that I did. You can see Jason Todd with his two guns here and his knife up here. The Batman in the background with the glaring eyes and the bats and stuff. I didn't finish this but I this was all like concept art for Prodigal Sons. And we have the Batman here. This was an early style Arkham drawing with the latches and stuff. Just draw what's in your head. You can see the Wayne Tech building in the background, and it's 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 kind of good. I started covering up here with the cape, seeing if the cape would look good covered up. An early day death in the family scene that I just drew. Okay, I'll let you get a better look at that because this camera is crappy. Try to just start drawing all the flames, all the Batman style things. Then we go into some Robin concept art. So here we have a Tim Drake Young Justice style. We have a Nightwing with a big grin. And we have a Damien in the back brooding. And then I was going to start drawing my red hood, but it didn't work out. Now these were all designs based on my very first three costumes. If you look, it has the same Nightwing symbol. We have the same Young Justice uh, suit that I showed. And the same Damien Wayne suit that I showed. Okay, so these were all the same kind of suits for my first three videos. Then we go to a Batman. This is just an early concept Batman that I did. Trying to just design things. Prodigal Sons poster that I designed for Jason. Okay, it says Batman Prodigal Sons up here. Sorry about that camera quality. But the splices over the Robin badge, I love this. Haven't seen these drawings in years. Let me go to a Nightwing design again that I had. Him kind of, I don't like him smelling all the time. You want to have him kind of. So Nightwing kind of looks good with the hair going over his eyes. Let me go to some early concept art for Batman Prodigal Sons. So this is the Tim Drake all bloodied up and Red Hood in the back chasing him. Yeah. Okay, so we have the blood marks just kind of emphasized with the red here. The suit all tore up. As I say, I love drawing them with their suits all tore up when they're fading. Red Hood's in the background chasing. 
We have a, again I say Teen Titans, this was a five issue series of T uh, Dick Grayson, okay, so it just says Robin up there, him kind of going into the bottle. And we have a big art piece. So I did this big art piece, this is kind of a Batman of the future with a Nightwing of the future or a Robin of the future. I love those drawings with a Batman and a Robin here up, up top of them. Now I did this for my GCSE art when I was in school. So this was done about maybe five years ago, okay? And again, you don't have to do everything. This You can find these pictures on Google somewhere. I found these years ago and I don't know. But the marker, you can just emphasize anything with pencil, marker, coloring. Your, your drawings get better with practice. With practice, everything is better. So this is my Robin booklet. I did my GCSE art project on the Robins, okay? So this is an all-star Batman and Robin. Again, drawings here. These are from the all-star Batman and Robin, the Jim Lee style drawings, the Tim Drake from the pre-New 52 Robins. Tim Drake again from the pre-New 52 Robins that I was purchasing at the time. I was just, I was really into my pre-New 52. Damian Wayne doing his leg kick going across two pages. So your drawings don't have to just last on one page. They can keep going. Then a Dick Grayson style in the background here, a silhouette. But I love this Damian Wayne. We have a Red Robin, Tim Drake thing right here. So we have him with his Superman kind of pose when he's taking off the shirt to reveal the Robin. And we have him as the Red Robin. This is done with marker. This is a crappy collage that I did uh, of Robin right here. Then we have Damian versus Red Robin, pre New 52. This was from the comics, Damian kind of attacking Tim Drake. Pre New 52, Tim Drake again, right here when he's in his Robin suit. Uh, coloring pencil, marker, and pen, you can see up here. This was for a project that I was doing. We have the Tim Drake style mask, so you take that, reveal it, put that on, okay? Take that off, he has his mask on. One of my first ever Young Justice Robin uh, designs that I ever did, and you can see the, the, the progression in that. Then we have go to someone actually previously asked for some suit designs and then they didn't want the suit designs anymore. I'm not going to name names, but yeah, these are the suit designs that I drew up for the, that person. So this is for the flesh mask. Again, this is for cosplay designs. You can design your cosplays like this easy. So I have the lines drew down here for where I would match up the parts. All right, I have all my writing of what would happen, where the pieces would go. Then we have the flesh suit itself okay all the armor pieces are labeled everything that i would make it from chest plate then all the color coding and stuff all right now this is i still might design this again wonder woman so these are some wonder woman belt plates and bracelet plates all right and some shoulder pads that i was doing for wonder woman because they also they wanted they wanted a whole justice league design this is the wonder woman suit that i designed just uh again the cloak i love that kind of scarf design that they have in the new Gal Gadot film the, uh, obviously her bracelets, her indestructible bracelets you would have to have those okay, then we go to a Green Lantern design that I did with the mask in the background here just start drawing out whatever you think you should have in your designs I thought maybe the sleeve should be black left this to see what it would look like we go to a Batman design that I have again this is like the Christian Bale type design I always will say please draw your designs before you do anything some different bad symbols right here one two three and four and then we have the book covers and stuff that I was designing all down the arm here we go to a Robin that was going to match up with this Batman design so you can see they both do match up with each other they're kind of the similar same design some different Robin symbols right here that I drew okay all the armor pieces and then down here we have the leg guards everything that you would need for a robin and finally we have my green arrow because they did initially want my green arrow design that i already had so we have the eye mask right here we have all the armor pieces that would match up with each other the quiver the uh, gauntlets right there so that is the designs that i did for someone who was looking a young justice uh, or they were looking at justice league set of costumes then they decided they want the Spider-Man, and then they just didn't want anything anymore. So yeah, this is my best work. Now you always save the best to last if you have lasted so long with us. Thank you for watching. So this is my best work. Now this is a red uh, hood that I did.
kind of with a robin split face as you can see right here i love this piece this took me a while to do i did this over a couple of months ago all right then we go over here to the death in the family scene so i've shown you previously some death in the fam family scenes that i've drew and then this is the progression of those this is what a few years of drawing can do and with practice all right i love these scenarios they are so good we go to some Batman, All-Star Batman and Robin again with Black Canary. She is in that storyline. I uh, did some Black Canary sketches right here. See if I want to do a female body. Always try and don't stick with the male uh, physique. A female physique is very, very fun to draw. It's very complicated. Once you figure out how to draw that physique, you can draw almost anything. It is very, very true. Then I drew a Slifer. I tried to draw Slifer the Sky Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! out of my own head. Okay, so that was Slay for the Sky Dragon. And we go to some early day designs that I was doing for like Nightwing and stuff down here with the six pack pieces. Then we go to, if you ever watch my very first Spider-Man New Generation suit, these were the first early designs for the Spider-Man New Generation suit. All right, so that's the very first Spider-Man video that I ever put up. If you wanna go and look at that, here is the initial design right here. Some eye designs that I have done. Again, there is a different eye design up here. The backpack design. Over here, some armor pieces design and the badge design. Then we go to the initial mask itself. So I wanted to have the hair come out at the top of the mask. You can see right here, so I drew that. Then we have him looking up in certain poses. I was seeing if maybe bigger eyes would do better. Then you go over and you have the full scale suit that I have drawn out, like so. It does not hurt to draw out your cosplay designs, even if they are good or bad, it will still give you a good idea. Then, here we have some early Deathstroke designs that I have drew. Alright, just these are just some quick sketches, some straps that I maybe wanted to have. Then we go to the Deadpool, my very first ever Nightwing vs Deadpool. If you watch the Geek Games, this was the Deadpool design that I did for that. Alright, you can see here some funny designs up here that I have drawn. And then we go to just some early Robin designs like so. And then so an effed up Damien that I messed up on. I messed up on this Damien. And then we go to my final drawing which is Batman looking over Damien. With Batman saying, Damien calm down, put down the sword. He's a friend of the family. And then Damien says, okay father, I'll put down the sword when your friend tends to come down. That, I, that's not actually what he says. So he says, yes, father, as soon as your friend learns his place. So yeah, I needed to read that. This is my one of my most favorite okay, art pieces, but these two right here are my most favorite of all time. So with practice, everyone, you can see where your pieces can go. So let me try and find the death in the family scene. Uh, I cannot find it. So yeah, I cannot find my death in the family scene. Two seconds. So everyone that found it, so with practice and time, you can see right here, both pictures side by side, that this one I did at least four to five years ago, this one I did at least last year, and you can see the difference in between them, okay, the poses, the, the technique and drawing, the whole, the whole angle itself, the way everything is taken, it is, it's, everything gets better with practice. So with cosplaying, with making suits, with art, everything in life practice makes perfect all you can do is work on it and with time hope that you're getting better and you will know that you're getting better all right you do know within a year your suits get better and please just practice so with everything like that thank you for lasting so long you're amazing that is just the portion of the art please go check out the instagram for more go check out raw pierre's channel and always draw your channels. Please send in some fan art. If you have any fan art, send it into the Instagram or the Facebook and we will definitely put that up. Okay, guys? Thank you for watching. From me, everyone here at Ireland, always let your geek speak. Bye, guys. Keep drawing.